Hi right, guys, welcome back. We've uh, come for a, a practice session down on River Don with two of my mates, Bobby D and uh, Chris. We're going to Bay Pegs, we're on Peg. I'm on 67, 66, and 65. Um, I'm just going to go through the ground bit. I'm going to use today. I'm going to fish just to feed a line. I'm going to use a fish meal based ground bait and then I'm going to add whatever I've done with it, I'm, I'm gonna with it. anyway some extra bit of fish meal one second then. yeah must have left it yeah so you join us on, on the river down at Denneby I'm going to run through ground bait mix we're going to use today um, and what, what I'm going to add so first things first there's ground bait art what I'm going to do is I'm going to fine sieve it off I don't want no big particles in because I want to control how much particles actually go into the swim so I'm not going to mix too much but like I said I'm going to fine sieve it off I'm going to over wet it because I want it because it, obviously it's, a, it's got pellet in it and then the pellets will soak it all up it's not as coarse as what I expected it to be well there's bits I'm talking about I don't want in so there you can go here yeah? a little bit more don't need too much today that quarter of a bag try and sit this bit off get rid of them big particles I don't want no particles really popping up and going downstream I want it to, to stay and I want most of the particles to be in the uh, bottom so that's it for the fish meal type base ground bait I am going to put a bit of crumb base ground bait in um, I've never really used bait tech, so this is the first time I've really used bait tech. So I'm going to put, where's my cups gone? I did have some cups out in there. Well, can't find them anyway, so I'm not going to put loads in. I'm just going to put it's a 250 mil. So a big pot's worth. I'm gonna sieve all this all these particles off. In summer you'd want them, all them bits of hemp and, and what have you in there, bits of maize. Get that stay together. Smells lovely. Smells lovely. So one thing I am going to add is molasses and I like liquids, this liquid will make it more in it, but I love molasses, um, even adding it with fish meals and what have you. So I'm going to add some molasses to, to my mix. So put some molasses into my water bucket. And just a glug of that, not too much. Oh, it smells lovely. Really sweet. Add a little bit of time. It's a lovely mix. It's a lovely green, brownie mix. I like that. I never used to really like green mixes, but I don't. I like green mixes now. I don't know. I just feel for bream. They settle on it a bit better. 
Right, so that ground bait's been... Once that's dried up, I reckon that'll be about perfect. While I'm fishing then, I can, I can alter it when it dries out. I can add a bit of water or use dry mix or what have you, but... Get that. Twenty mates take all on them particles. Uh, while I tackle up, the rods are set up. I just need to put some leads on and find some nice spots to put to put them on. Um, so yeah, so we'll get that into a peg, and we'll, we'll, we'll I'll show you what we're going to do then. But I'll catch you in a bit. Hi right, guys, you're about. I'm up, sat down at peg now. I'm just going to go through what rods I've got. So I've just picked. I've got an 11 foot Preston Monster Carp feeder. Uh, we one ounce tip him uh, down to a 4,000 size wheel with uh, that new, well not new, but the the, the Drennan uh, braid in O10. And on the longer line. I've come armed with the Superior 12 6, 50 gram braid again, Fox Horizon, whatever, Matrix Submerge. Um, and that is, so that's O10 again. Both set up, this is on an helicopter rig, this one. I'm just going to try it for this time. I've done well on here at helicopter before. Uh, and this, this one is on helicopter rig as well. So it's easy to change because I, I set them up on booms. So I've just got a short boom there to 023 fluorocarbon. I can swap and change them if I want to to a running or helicopter. But first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting a lead out, trying to find a nice spot. I know where I want to fish. One line right across. So we'll go with Superior first. Nice, one ounce lead. Make sure you give braid a good salt before you get a cast start. So if not, it's going to be with knots. I know it's a bit further out. I want to fish on the on the other side of the river, but just as it starts sloping up. So in about, I would say, 14 foot, 15 foot of water. The uh, absolute rock bottom. It's, it's a solid donk. When you, when you follow, when you're fishing braid and you've got a lead on, always follow the lead down and feel for the fud. A lot of match anglers don't do it for some reason, but you must, you must lead up. We're cutting carp fishing here, we call, we call it leading up, that's Sam's favourite to leading up. But, let's get another one. Get that clip. on. Oh, what a spot, that's that spot down. What's it took me? Two, three casts to find a spot. It's 100% it's worth it. Just, just to make sure it's really right. So that's that spot down. On the, on the superior rod, I've got a, a 6,000 size wheel. I just like big wheels. I think it's coming from the carp fishing days. We start off on a, a 16 N20. On this one. We've got both of them to be fair. Or an 18. We'll see. So, at the moment. And they're all tied at a metre length. I tied myself a metre. And it is to. Is it, this is to. Uh, oh. 015 Acupower on these ones. 
For fishing the still water, it definitely would be fluorocarbon carbon without shadow of a doubt. But I think on a river you need to know what's really durable. Clips up ready to go. Now we're trying for the 11 footer. Like I said, same again. Helicopter style rig. Just because I fancy trying it today, really. But like I said, I can swap and change it if needs be. These 11 foot monster carp feeder rods are probably one of my favourite rods. They've got a bit of backbone and, and that. So when you do it on tip bream on here, so there's a lot of bream. Don't get me wrong, in the big bream. This one, I just want this one to fish just really into flow. But, well that looks great, didn't it? So, That's what you get, folks, you're not putting it tipping for. Well, that's cracked off straight away, so <laughs> that didn't go to plan, but it happens to us all. So, what I'm going to do is knock it off and I'm going to crack on, set this back up, and get that long for you to chuck out. Need to sort my box out, it's a bit wonky. Hey, let's go finish this ground bit off. Hey guys, welcome back. Yeah, so I'm just finishing the ground bit off now. I can see it's gone, it's gone, it's gone lovely. I'm going to reel it off. That water with the molasses in and the, the big fish liquid from Van den Eyd, oh, it smells lovely, it smells lovely. Like I said, I've left it a bit on the dry side. And that's on a purpose.
with a limit off has to be perfect so this will get rid of any any cloggy pieces um takes a few minutes i don't but it's, it's well worth the aggro what a grip that's such a nice lovely mix so put a bit in bucket keep it nice and fresh away from fresh air and, and sunlight start off with that that rubbish in there that little bit there that then there Right, we're kind of ready for fishing, so I want to get down to the peg. I've already clipped up um, the long rod. Tried clipping up short rod, cracked off straight away, so... <laughs> Buzzing. But yeah, I'm going to crack on with that now, so I'll catch you in a bit. Two big pole plot. Few worms at the time, don't my big pot in there. So, I'm going to first put in there, not long while. Start with two deads, two dead reds, Nick. So, I'm going to go pinch of deads, tiny little pinch of worm. Five or six microbes, bit of pinky, dead pinky. Plug that. We've got the, the feed I've chose to start the line with is the uh, the, the old ones. I've gone from because I'm with a pound each. The old, um, they're like a solid distance feeder from Browning. Chose it in 30 grams. Um, well, I'll just get this quick. Put a couple of feet of that and the money. This time we've got two or three casters, some dead reds, another five or six micros. No worm this time. No worm at all. With it being a solid feeder, it, it holds more of your bait until you get down to the bottom. Another fish in. Two, two in. Let pull up after a cup. That's it. Might not hold back on that. Might need to look a bit more. It needs to fall out and get a wind up more. But we'll see. That seems to be holding now. I'm not going to bother timing anything today, I'm just going to fish for bites. That's all I'm going to do. I thought this was that.
Because I don't think the fishing for many bites. Bobby, do you speak Bobby's head, Jim? Indications of yet. Might have had indications, might get missing, so could have done. Again. Well, a couple of pellets, you're dead, maggots, pinch of dead pinkies, no cast this time. Pinch of uh, micros and use the rest of the particles what's left in the uh, feeder. And we'll change to a different feeder in a couple of casts. So a, a bottom end, like a bottom end of feeder. Not bottom end, but side. Either. So what I'll do is I'll get back to you guys then. That if not, we'll see you again sometime, but no, I'll get back to you in a bit. Are you getting out of the pole, Bobby? Are you not yeah, talking? So the situation is... <laughs> What down? What are you cutting down? Fishing rock out. <laughs> 
not none of us have had a knock yet, so uh, we uh, apologise for that, but it's fishing hard. Crazy hard. Crazy, crazy, crazy hard. It doesn't normally fish this hard, does it? Well, if you remember last time we fished this peg, Bobby D, when we had that net of fish, they didn't come on until later on. And we caught them all at last minute, didn't we? You got me? No, you don't want to blank now. So I can't, can't I've tried worm. I've come on in my short line now. So a couple of feeders on it's quite it's a, a lot deeper there than over the far side. Um the far side it's a lovely I've known that spot, I've known it for years, so it's a spot I got showed by uh, uh, the, the old bailiff Dave Walker. Um it's it's really cleaner and hard, it's like and it's such a lovely place to normally catch bream off. Caught a lot of room off that, but I just can't seem to get a bite. But come on, sh short line. Um, we're just trying that now. So, same ground mate, makes a bit dry. Lovely, lovely, lovely mix that. I'm well impressed. The molasses in, in the water, it, it, it does help. It helps massively. I do like molasses for bream. It's cheap as chips as well. What is it? Cheap. It's so cheap, man. A couple of quid. But yeah, it's uh, it's cheap. Not the pool. Is that how you're talking to you? Not the pool. Because I've not done this kind of fishing for such a long time, it's, that, it's I'm finding it difficult to see the, see the bites. Probably the only mistake I've done today is fishing braid on the rods. Probably should have fished mono, especially with crosswind and what have you. But we'll see. But but it's just that it's just that being really really pain, painful. But what I'll do is I'll get back to you in a bit if anything starts happening. Um, I'll get back to you guys, and we'll, we'll hopefully we'll have one or two. So all, all I want is one or two. But ain't it grand? It's grand here, yeah, honestly. It's such a lovely place to fish. Can't can't be, can't beat it. Pegs pegs are like being on a commercial. In summer, fishing is incredible. I can't wait to do a video and show you how good fishing is in summer. You, you would not believe it. And I literally mean every single peg will do £50 a bream. And every single peg will do £20 a roach. Not when that summer, when them summer months come and the new season kicks in, get them on them pellet. You know them sonal baits, does ship ones where you just pump. Just come down with one bag of them. It's incredible, it's incredible, they can change your day. Like you literally can come down here and just bring pellet. But it's not my that's not, not all I like it to I like it to be natural baits, but you gotta go with what what we're trying to tell. Yeah, um I'll get back to you in a bit guys. If all happens, if anything changes. Obviously I cracked off on that rod, I'll quickly go through that rod. That would a bite. I cracked, I cracked off on that rod. Um, so I've just set up a normal free running feeder set up on that. So the, I did put an helicopter one on them. But, but anyway, that, that's another time. But that's what I've done. I've put uh, a free running rig on that. We're a twizzle boom on. We're little. I like to use a little uh, swivels on end to attach it to the up length. If you cast hard enough and hit the clip, it's fine. It always kicks away. Sometimes before. You could get tangles, but you must hit the clicks, it throws it away. 
Um, but yeah, I, what I'll do is I'll get back to you in a bit and hopefully we've had a beam on too. But if not, well, we'll run for what we've done wrong. <laughs> I don't, I really don't think there's any fish feeding at the minute or any bream here. So we'll, we'll see. We'll catch you in a bit. Yeah, it's not that. It's just, just not happening, is it? It's just nothing. It's even more maddening that you're not getting out of fucking maggot and float. I feel like if anything were going to work, it would be picking up some bits. Even Radicliff's not having none, though, is he on, on Wagler? It makes sense. Where's that old perch and stuff? You know what I mean? Let's fucking perch. Roach! Are you all not seeing out, Radcliffe? Now, right, what we're we saying though, if they turn up and we get a couple of weeks, the best day of this fucking season, but. Just don't seem to be anything happening, there's just like no bites at all, is there? Looking forward to summer on here though, Bobby D. Bet, I can't wait for it. I feel like setting me five meter whip up. See if I can, if I can run any, any, any roads down this margin here, down here. Deep as, it's deep as old. I'm going to set this little two meter thing up I've got me, like when I have to bring kids. This is why I don't like pleasure fishing. I only like match fishing. But we could have gone to, we could have gone down Bearcroft and it been exactly the same. Because he will get it. Because he was getting one of bung yesterday, don't mean we were going to get one of bung, does it? It's like, it's like Blake Moore, isn't it? You know he's had to fish Blake Moore, like, and he's, he's, up on, he's up on that peg yesterday, not had a sniff off a bream. So is it just because it was that day? They just turned on that day. Yeah. Just dead surprise, tip's not got yet, I'll be honest with you. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> but that's the The note you was one. Your name at match scenes is is MPEG Bobby D. You only man to draw MPEG. You're the only man I've ever met what can draw MPEG or flyer every single time. What a good payday for you, wasn't it? Oh yeah, of course you have. You can't just rock up. Uh, uh, you know, I've seen very good anglers draw them pegs on here and, 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 and not do well. You know what I mean? You've got to fish it, mate. Dark channels, deep in it, dark channels. It's a good, it's a good fight. I've just got like a six second count on that there. There's got to be some bream sat in there, up there. Oh, it's lovely. Mate, well, I've had... This time last year, when it just after them big floods, can you remember? Water were all the way up. It was still, there was still a metre of water and I had, I had four. Nice bream then. This weather's bang on for it. It's just perfect. What time are we on Bobby D? Have you tried spraying any maggot? That would have knocked just over eight pull. Yeah. Ah, yo, I'm not being up. I know there's some fish out there. There's got to be. There's got to be some fish out there. Never bite me, Bobby, you never bite. You know what? I don't think I have ever bite something yet. I've never bite. What's that? Oh, it's proper deep at edge here. How's Blake not uh, Radcliffe getting on? What's he say? Is, it, is Chris is Chris seen any signs of fish? Is Chris seen any signs of fish? Incredible, isn't it? Absolutely incredible. I don't understand what's going on. It's crazy.